Today's meditation is based on 1 Peter 2 from the Passion Translation. I abandon every form of evil, deceit, hypocrisy, feelings of jealousy, and slander. Like a nursing infant, I intensely crave the pure spiritual milk of God's Word. I know that God's Word will cause me to grow into maturity, fully nourished and strong for life, especially now that I have had a taste of the goodness of Yahweh and have experienced His kindness. I keep coming to Him who is the living stone. Although He was rejected and discarded by men, He was chosen by God and is priceless in God's sight. I am His living stone, continually being assembled into a sanctuary for God. I serve as a holy priest, offering up spiritual sacrifices that He readily accepts through Jesus Christ. I believe in Jesus and will never be disappointed. I know His great worth and His preciousness is imparted to me. I am God's chosen treasure, a priest king, part of the spiritual nation set apart as a devoted one of God. He called me out of darkness to experience His marvelous light, and now He claims me as His very own. He did this so that I would broadcast His glorious wonders throughout the world. Once I was not one of God's people, but now I am. At one time, I knew nothing of God's mercy because I hadn't received it yet, but now I am drenched with it. I am a resident alien and foreigner in this world, so I divorce myself from the evil desires that wage war within me. I live an honorable life as I mix with unbelievers, even if they accuse me of being an evildoer, for they will see my beautiful works and have a reason to glorify in the day He visits us. In order to honor the Lord, I respect and defer to the authority of every human institution, whether it be the highest ruler or the governors he puts in place to punish lawbreakers and to praise those who do what's right. For it is God's will for me to silence the ignorance of foolish people by doing what is right. As God's loving servant, I live in complete freedom, but I never use my freedom as a cover-up for evil. I recognize the value of every person and continually show love to every believer. I live my life with great reverence and in holy awe of God, and I honor my rulers. I submit to the authority of those I work for, not only to those who are kind and gentle, but even to those who are hard and difficult. I find God's favor by deciding to please God even when I endure hardships because of unjust suffering. For what merit is it to endure mistreatment for wrongdoing? Yet, if I'm mistreated when I do what is right, and I faithfully endure it, this is commendable before God. In fact, I was called to live this way because Christ also suffered in my place, leaving me His example to follow. He never sinned, and He never spoke deceitfully. When He was verbally abused, He did not return with an insult. When He suffered, he would not threaten retaliation. Jesus faithfully entrusted himself into the hands of God, who judges righteously. He himself carried my sins in his body on the cross so that I would be dead to sin and live for righteousness. My instant healing flowed from his wounding. I was like a sheep that continually wandered away, but now I have returned to the true shepherd of my life the kind guardian who lovingly watches over my soul. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.